Ian, so we're out here looking at your pasture that was grass hands last fall. What do we see? Well, I, I think what we see is, is some really nice windrows uh, where previously this had been pretty compacted in a high traffic area. Uh, and we needed to have some seeds that were going to make some plants come up for this, this spring grazing season. And they're coming along nicely. We've got about another month to go before we're going to be out here. And it's, it's really filling in well. And we see some, some good varieties and some good things going on. So Ian, I'm looking at what we decided to put into this pasture when we chose to grass hands it last fall. We wanted fast establishing grasses that would meet your needs for high energy. So I'm going to get right down and look at these new rows. You can see these new rows out here. So we have, basically there's three components. We introduced the Perseus festololium, fast establishing high quality grass. There is also, it's difficult to see, but there's some Italian ryegrass. And also we have introduced red clover as to help add to the protein levels and energy levels as this pasture progresses through the season. We're in a pasture that was overseeded last fall and now it's early February and we're looking at the results. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me that you see in this location here? Jerome, I see that last fall, last, well last grazing season, we had a lot of animals that were constantly near these gates wanting to go back towards the barn. As a result, it, it really got quite compacted and bare. So we needed to overseed. We needed to put some grass down that was going to be here available for the grazing season this year. And it's, it's come up nicely. Uh, by the time that we're grazing in another month or so, there'll definitely be some feed out in this area. Um, the other thing that this has done is where you can see where there's still dirt, uh, it's wet, it's soggy, but where the grass is growing, it's drying up. The root mass is starting to take in that, that moisture, it's starting to work and, and condition that soil and cycle the nutrients, and it's, it's gonna be a much healthier pasture as a result. Great, okay. Let's go look at another spot. Sounds good.